Hey girlfriends! Surprise! Okay, if you're wondering why my face looks so strange on this side, this is what you call the Ruhua effect. When you have way too much makeup on and it just doesn't look right because makeup is supposed to enhance, not make you look a bit crazy. So this is overdrawn eyebrows, way too much foundation and you have eyeliner that is just you know sometimes when you're on the bus and then you're drawing your eyeliner on right because you're late or whatever and then the bus is going like this and you're like okay I can't the go boom and then it goes one huge line across okay that's that and also lipstick see teeth now it's quite obvious right that no one's really going to walk out with a face like this it's just what I'm saying is, these are like, you know, if you're on the go and you don't want to like remove your entire face from makeup, it's just a small mistake that you can easily fix with a Q-tip or with some moisturizer. So I'm just like putting all the mistakes together and obviously like exaggerating a little bit so you can see how bad it can get. So what we're going to do today, because we're talking about fixing makeup mishaps, is to make this look like this. Alright, so we'll start with the foundation. We'll take a dry sponge, right? Dip it in a little bit of water, dab off the excess, and just start blending it out. Now, if you realise that you put way, way too much foundation, you might need to go to the whites, but we're going to try with this first, okay? I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but look, see how much foundation has come off? That's a lot of foundation. It's a lot more normal now, if you can tell. The next thing we're going to fix are these eyebrows. Very thick, like the Chinese Waiyang thick. So what we're going to use is moisturizer. You just use this and you go against the grain of your eyebrow. Okay, maybe uh, when you are moving also, don't rub so hard because then you get this red colour, not glamorous. Okay, so now that I removed my eyebrows, it's kind of gone back to normal. I'm going to do a little bit of a touch up. Ah, okay, now see, this is a more common everyday problem that you have. Do you notice how this eyebrow is slightly darker than this eyebrow? So, what I'm going to do is use a q tip and just like rub it off a bit. And problem solved. So now we're going to move on to the eyeliner. What we're going to do is use a Q-tip and the moisturizer to remove this extra line right there. So now at the bottom. Okay, so what you see now is that I have some eyeshadow left and then I have a huge hole over here. But the eyeliner is fixed, so that's the good part. So what I'm going to do is just take the same colour that I used on my eyebrows and just fill it up. And done! Another thing that I also like to use, this thing, little, little pen that I got from Sephora, it's called Mr. Corrector. I don't know why they call it Mr. Corrector when it's obviously for women. That's okay. This is really good. This is basically, right, makeup remover like in the shape of a pen, so they pointed it like a Q-tip and but the thing with this is that it tends to absorb the extra colour that you remove so what happens after every use is that you need to clean the tip so this is also very useful but if you don't want to spend the money I think it was like $10 and it can last for quite a bit if you don't spend the money or you just find it easier to use Q-tips then that works as well so now that I fixed that problem there you see this eyeliner here on this side is a lot darker so I'm just going to even it out Now sometimes I find that when I use eye, uh, gel eyeliner on the bottom, it gets a bit too harsh. I'll use this angle brush and just like smudge it out a little bit. And there you go. I'm normalizing my face. Okay, next is the lipstick problem. <laughs> so first step, clean off the excess lipstick. Like that. Now sometimes there's a bit of like 
You're a bit scared to use that lipstick because you think, oh, that lipstick is going to be a real mess, it's going to get all over my teeth. But actually, it's not that. A simple trick is you put your, <laughs> you put your finger in your mouth, right? And you do this. And what it does is it cleans the lipstick from the inside part of your lips so it doesn't touch your teeth and you smile. Now, when you use dark lipstick, right, it's sometimes better to use like a lip brush because you get more defined lines or you can just use it like as a stain and then use your fingers to blot it out which is also a different effect. This is, oh, I love it, black raspberry. If you don't have a lipstick brush, you can also use a Q-tip like so. So I'm going to use, but the only thing I don't like about Q-tip sometimes is it's a bit feathery, like you get little fuzz on your lips which is a bit irritating. Oh yeah, I use the Q-tip to define the outside a little bit. And then I'll just use the lipstick to like fill it in. See? The extra lipstick goes onto your finger. And if you don't want to put that finger thing, what well, you can also do is get tissue paper and just do that. And all the stuff on the inside. Is that here? So you can also put a little bit of gloss over just in the center and the top part just to make it look a bit fresher and fuller. So that's it! Normalized! It's been done! Okay, so last tip for the day. If you're going to be going out at night, right, and you know you're going to be taking a lot of photos, what you should do is, as they call it, zi pai, take a self shot. Yeah? So you take a camera, remember to turn on the flash because that's when all the mistakes come, boom, all come out. So you turn on the flash and say cheese. And there you have it. And you just check and see if you like the effect. So thank you for joining us. See us again next time for more tips and tricks on Tried and Tested.